Is it feasible to swap ink cartridges in and out of pens after they've been punctured? The cartridge is not the pens. Ha, huh. thanks for the clarification. Uh, I'm thinking specifically about Pilot Parallel pens. I have several colors of their cartridges and I don't want to waste a lot of ink trying to swap out cartridges only to have them dry out. I know I could buy PilotCon 50 converters for all of them, but I'd like to use the ink I have on hand before I do so. Okay, Gina, well, um, yes, you can swap the cartridges in between those pens. Absolutely, that cartridge is just a, it's just a housing for the ink. So you can do whatever you want with that ink. Um, the only thing that you won't really easily be able to do is save those cartridges outside of the pen, because essentially you think about it like an open container of any beverage, liquid of any kind, it's going to evaporate if you just leave it open. So if you pull the cartridge out of that pen and just leave it sitting there on your desk or whatever, it's going to dry out after a couple of days. Like, it's not going to take that long. So you want to make sure that it's installed in a, a pen. Or I've heard of other people using, like, hot glue gun or something like that to try to seal up the end of their cartridges. Personally, I feel it's more trouble than it's worth, but it's totally fine for some people to do that. Um, so that said, if you're going to be swapping cartridges from one pen to another, it's interesting that you talk about it in the parallel because the parallel actually comes with mixable ink cartridges. And the parallel is made to have kind of the ability to mix the ink colors in the pen and be able to have a gradation effect as you're writing. That's one of the coolest things about the parallel. Um, however, you don't want to just up and mix ink colors, especially from different brands, in your pen without knowing how they're going to react. The Pilot Parallel mixable ink cartridges which is what comes in the pen. You can also buy them separately. You know, they're designed really for the parallel. They're made to be mixed with each other, so you're cool to do that. Of course, knowing that if you have a black ink and you put a red cartridge on a pen that was previously inked with black and you're not cleaning it in between, it's gonna be black for a while and then it's gonna turn kind of a darkish, muddy, blackish red. And then eventually, as that converter works its, or sorry, as that cartridge ink works its way through, it's going to turn to just plain red. So you're going to have a period of time where it's going to transition through, which is kind of a cool effect that some people like. However, if you're mixing two different kind of incompatible inks, then you could end up having some kind of negative chemical reaction happen inside your pen. That would not be good. Um, so you don't want that to happen. Now, some inks will react more than others. I wish I had like an exhaustive, these inks are good, not good to mix with each other kind of thing. I don't have a list like that because with close to 600 different colors of ink and no real data coming from any of the manufacturers about what's good to mix with each other, there would be no way to knowing that without actually mixing it and experimenting myself. Um, there are good resources, like on the Fountain Pen Network has a good ink mixing sub forum that you could check out, um, but that's really all I've, I've got about that. So I would say if you're going to do that, make sure that you're cleaning out your pen. For your specific situation with the parallel, you can swap those cartridges and it's fine as long as you know the gradation thing is going to happen. But if you're going to be doing that with any other pen or with any other type of ink, I would usually recommend cleaning out the pen completely before you go sticking a partially used cartridge into another pen. But other than that, there's no problem doing it at all. 